Hello and welcome to the Devon Dementia Roadmap Tour. This screen shows the national portal where users are able to access all of the dementia roadmaps across the country. Today we're going to look at the Devon Roadmap. This is the home page. On the left hand side we can see um, seven topics and they're repeated in the main body of the page with a description explaining to users what they can expect to see in each section. You'll notice that the topics which act as the navigation on the left hand side reflect the dementia journey moving from understanding and awareness of dementia, being concerned about memory, through to the diagnostic process, post-diagnosis support, living well with dementia, section on carers health and planning for the future. As you scroll down the home page you can see on the left hand side resources on the left and groups on the right. I'm just going to demonstrate one feature um, here we can search by our current postcode, so if we say Totnes, we get a list of groups that are in the close, close proximity to the postcode that we've entered. Let's try another Southwest postcode, sorry, Devon postcode in this case. Uh, let's try Exeter, and then we see the list of the groups changes accordingly. Now let's go and explore some of these resources and groups in more detail by looking at the different sections of the roadmap. So I moved over on the left hand side into the diagnostic process and we can see various um, subtopics here from cognitive tests um, through to dementia subtypes etc. I'm going to have a look at the dementia diagnosis in primary care. This resource um, is aimed at GPs to give them um, main features that would indicate that a further referral onto specialist services is required. Um, clearly some patients may be diagnosed in primary care by their GP without referral and this points to how GPs will handle that. This uh, piece of information was previously available through the Devon Map of Medicine and it demonstrates why um, the, the GPs and primary care staff that have written this copy have made this available to the main audience which is staff working in primary care. Now if we move uh, back one and go and have a look at an example of a group Let's have a look at the Devon Referral Support Services. This is a service that GPs uh, who wish to access further, further advice and care for a patient can refer on to and they will handle the referral process. The difference between the resource page and the group page that we can see here is we've got a map and contact details shown on the top right hand side. Now let's have a look at another section such as understanding dementia. Here we can see a resource such as What is Dementia? This is a fact sheet and video published by the Alzheimer's Society. And this demonstrates that the roadmap does also con include information which will be of benefit to perhaps carers, people who are worried about their memory, and, and people living with dementia themselves. If we move into another section now, have a look at post-diagnosis support, and maybe further in, let's go and have a look at dementia support workers. Very specific topic here. We've got a collection of resources on the left and groups again on the right. Let's have a look at this uh, 10 tips for communicating with a person with dementia. This is a fact sheet produced by the Family Caregiver Alliance that provides some practical tips for people on how to best communicate. Once we've uh, found the deep, read the details, we can also download uh, this fact sheet as a, as a resource. We've got the various categories or topics that have been applied and some other what's known as metadata really. and here, these are labels, if you like, that we've added to the resource to help users browse similar types of resources. So this is a fact sheet. If I click on fact sheet, we'll list all of the resources that are in the Devon Dementia Roadmap, which have a similar format. In other words, they're, they're fact sheets. Okay, let's go and have a look now at a um, group in the Dementia Support Workers category. Another example of a group. This is the Devon Dementia Support Service. And here, dementia support workers help people with dementia maintain their independence. Once again, we've got details of the service, um, contact details and location. And we can see further information down here. In this case, I'm going to click on another um, label. The fact that this was published by the Alzheimer's Society, in fact, is the organization which leads that particular service or group. And here we can see all of the items that are in the system, whether they're resources or groups that are related to the Alzheimer's Society. Now let's have another look through the system here. Um, uh, local support, maybe look at befriending services. 
Um, here's an example of a befriending service in Devon. And one of the things I want to demonstrate to you here is the responsive design. What do I mean by that? Well, that's how when your uh, screen device width that you're using to view the roadmap through, uh, whether that's a desktop computer or a tablet or iPad, that type of thing, or even down to a mobile phone, the view of the, um, the information should respond according to the device width. So we've designed something here which is capable of being viewed equally well on a, a mobile phone or um, a tablet device such as an iPad, other tablets are available, and uh, also a desktop. And the reason for that was that the GPs and, and primary care staff that we work with to design the roadmap um, told us that they wouldn't always be using a desktop computer. They're more likely to perhaps use a mobile phone um, or a tablet device. So that, that, that much demonstrates that facility there. The other thing here, let's have a quick search. Maybe we can do, instead of browsing, which we can use the uh, navigation menu over here. Maybe we can search for specific items. So here we can list all of the mem memory cafes. Maybe we're interested in, I don't know, something specific like, I don't know, the care bill. Um, and there we can see uh, appropriate search results. Here's an example of um, a, a resource. Fact sheets about the care bill, which people would find um, useful. Other areas of interest for you to, to know are the, the site map. So um, here you've got a list of all of the resources or all of the groups, all of the various topics and categories that are in the system. And you know you can quickly, uh, another, another way if you like, many routes we've provided for people to navigate through the roadmap. Finally, there's a, an acknowledgements page giving you details of the sponsors, the lead organizations and the project team involved and also quick link to uh, the, the survey that we've got asking people about how they currently find and use information about um, dementia to support people living with dementia. So we'd be grateful if people could complete that too. That's all for, for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour, a bit of a whistle stop tour. I'll try and produce some more videos in the near future and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.